All right, we're here on the Stingray 192 SC. We'll start in the bow here. It's got this gigantic swim ladder here with an anchor locker built in. All right, moving a little further back here, we have a really nice fishing seat. You just plop right in. So from here, you're able to fish from the casting deck with a nice, comfortable seat. You got tons of room to move around and fight fish all day. here we have this huge ice box if you want to get in a little closer you can see how how deep this is it's got a nice built-in drain you can keep ice and cold beverages in there right here we have the nice sink and this is a trash can or double as another storage compartment and in here you can find the the reservoir for the sink you just fill that up with water and then you can have yourself an ample amount of, of sink water there. It doesn't pull it out from the lake. You have a nice reservoir in there, so you can put nice clean water in there. Right here on the floor, we have this huge ski rod locker. Okay, it doubles as a, a ski locker, and you can fit a lot of rod and reels in there. So if you're back here fishing and your buddies, you know, having trouble casting with a ski tow bar, just take it right out. And this has a nice place where you can store it away in these rubber holders here. All right, so there's very few steps to deploy your ski tow bar, okay? So you come into your storage compartment. You see the spot for your ski tow to go in? Slide it in like this. The hook goes to the back of the boat, okay? Not forward. So you stick it in like that. You have an access plate here. Take your pen, you stick it right through the holes. There you go. Ski tow bar is locked into place and you can tow skiers all day long with a Yamaha 115. Pull any type of skier up, experienced or beginner. to the stern here. You have these nice rod holders here. Your ski tow bar, which we already went over. All the cup holders you'll ever need. And you have these nice storage boxes back here on each side. So you can throw your fenders in here or your dock line or, or anything, life jackets. Same over here. Nice storage compartments and nice removable too gets you into the mechanics box. 
That's the spot where your trolling motor battery can go if you ever added a trolling motor. Same here on the other side. Your starting batteries over okay, here. Okay, so you can see that I'm here at the console. We'll go over the console with you real quick. So you have your standard gauges, trim gauge, multifunction gauge with your speedo and your fuel gauge, RPM gauge with your voltmeter, then you have a 12 volt accessory, charge your phone, your iPod, and then you also have an audio jack with a USB built to in. To the right of the steering wheel you have this switch panel. It has your nav lights, courtesy lights, docking lights, bilge pump, and a live well back here. You turn that baby on, you can keep your fish right in here, keep them healthy, keep them alive. To the left of the steering wheel, we have our last gauge panel here. It's with the key switch, and it's got the radio switch, along with your horn. Over here with the captain's chair, you have a nice bolster seat. It can really help you in docking, elevate your sight, get to see anything in the water that you don't want to hit. And it can really help you dock, believe it or not. Um, you just get a little height advantage there. And uh, then along with that, then you can tilt the steering wheel up to accommodate that. Then stow it away, bring it back down so you can get on plane, tilt that steering wheel back, and then you're off.